Good morning. Happy St. Patrick's Day. So for breakfast today, we're getting our green on <laughs> and we are making a green shakshuka. So a shakshuka is, it's typically eggs cooked in a sauce and it's very typically made with um, tomatoes. So this morning we did one with um, Brussels sprouts, asparagus, there's a few stalks of Swiss chard in there, some garlic, onion. And so what you do is you saute everything and then we've got the oven preheated to 375 and you actually, once everything is kind of like beginning to get tender, um, you make wells like this and you crack eggs in it. And obviously the cast iron skillet is perfect for this because it goes from the stove to the oven. But so we are gonna have leftovers tomorrow before we go to the farmer's market. So I'm going ahead and doing four eggs, but you could do as many as you want. So once we get it all done, then we're gonna stick it in the oven for 10 minutes. And obviously you would cook them to your personal preference, but they're gonna be just right. Just got it out of the oven and we actually checked it at 10 minutes and thought it needed just a couple of minutes more because basically what you want to do is just make sure that the whites are set um and so these yolks are just going to be kind of like soft they're not going to be super runny um, but that's just the way we like it so it is absolutely delicious and we're going to have it with a piece of whole grain toast we'll see you later we are back for dinner and for lunch today we savored the leftovers of our smoky black eyed peas stew that we had made. Oh my gosh, it's just as good the next day. And then our salad was just a kind of a combination of, of course the greens, you know, just a random amount of spring mix. Um, and we had carrots and red onion and tomato and sugar snap peas. And so that was lunch. And for dinner, I was craving curry. And so we have a recipe for a Thai seafood curry with spaghetti squash. And so we had a spaghetti squash. And so I also made up a curry coleslaw that has apples, carrots, cabbage, it has some pecans and coconut and a really simple dressing just with some rice wine vinegar and a little olive oil and some turmeric and curry powder is in there. So that is our salad tonight. So this Thai curry, seafood curry. So what we did is we cooked a spaghetti squash and then we made this sauce, this curry sauce that we put a little bit of the sauce in the spaghetti squash. And then now you could make this with whatever kind of seafood you like. Tonight we had some mahi mahi fish. Um, we've done this with cod before. And so you cook it. We've got some edamame in there and a bell pepper. And it has some more curry Thai chili garlic sauce and some curry powder in there. And then um, we are going to sprinkle some green onions and chopped peanuts. And oh my gosh, it's loaded with flavor and it will totally satisfy my curry craving. So we hope you had a great Friday and we will see you tomorrow.